Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be another tutorial using another new palette. This one is the new Natasha Denona Neutrals palette. And I'm going to show you how I created this cut crease with some glitter liner. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the eyes first today. And I'm going to use this shade right here. This is the one that I'm going to pack on the crease area. And I'm going to make sure that I have plenty of product on there. These are very smooth shadows. So I didn't have any issues building up the color whatsoever. This one has a red tone to it. And then I'm going to go into this color right here. And this one is more like an orangey yellow type of warm shade. Very, very beautiful. Also not hard to build up. You can tell whenever I'm gliding it on, it packs on the color really easily. So there's not like any, again, any issues with me uh, building that color up. It really shows up. And there I am just blending it out little by little. It is gonna take some time. I'm using a little bit more of that orangey yellow shade. It's orange, let's just say orange. And blending it out slowly. Now I'm gonna take some of the red red shade and blend that into the orange again just take my time blending it out as much as possible now I'm gonna use the brown shade and pack that onto the eyelid. I wasn't sure at first what I was gonna do, but this is exactly what I did to the other eye. And since I am gonna continue to use the brown, I did do it to this eye too. Um, and now I'm just blending in the brown with the red, red brown shade. Okay, so now for my cut crease, I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape, and this one's in the color Light Neutral. I really need a new brush for my cut creases. I've trying this one I've tried my other small one and honestly I'm not liking either one of them I feel like I need something else if you have any recommendations for a cut crease brush let me know which one I need a flat one either like a size like this one or a little bit smaller would be great for my eye shape and there I'm just picking up the product with that brush and making sure that I get all the excess concealer so it's not too much and you can see I'm going over some spots that I didn't like and uh, using this um, con same concealer Okay, so now I'm using this light shade, which is the lightest shade in the palette, and packing that on to the inner corner of the eye all the way, almost halfway to the, to the eyelid. Now I'm using the next lightest one in the palette and applying that on the center of the eyelid, and I'm going to blend it into the light color. So I'm going to switch between the light shade and this shade to make sure that they transition nicely together. And they really do. Like, you can see that they do build up you can definitely see that light shade even though it's light but it does build up but it does blend in <laughs> to the other shade really easily okay so now i'm going to use the brown one and apply that one on the outer corner of the eye and i'm going to blend it into the middle shade I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the edge to that one too. And then I'm gonna remove the tape to give me that nice clean edge. And I'm gonna clean up the fallout because I did get a lot with my makeup remover wipe. It just wasn't enough to use a brush for that. And then for the eyeliner, I'm gonna use the NYX Matte Liquid Liner, which is the one that I always use. Another product that I want to get something new of, like another, I wanna try another eyeliner. If you have a nice, black one that you like to use let me know which one it is i like them to be matte because i don't really like the shiny finish to them so if you have any recommendations to that as well i would love to know and then i'm going to do the eyeliner for the cut as well and i'm going to use uh, midnight cowboy by urban decay and i'm going to go ahead and apply that on the cut crease this is just a regular gold eye um, eyeliner gold glitter now I'm gonna use the highlight shade and I'm gonna spray my brush because I do want that to look a little bit more shiny and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this shade on the inner corner of the eyes okay so then on the lower lash line I'm gonna use that second shade that I used on top 
and this one's the orange the warm orange color it sometimes looks a little yellowy whenever it's in the palette but once you pack it on it does get a little bit more orangey that's why i keep saying yellow <laughs> and then i'm using the warm red shade closer to my lash line and then for the waterline, I'm going to use a brown pencil. I didn't want to use black. This one matches pretty good and looked really pretty. It also complements brown eyes, I feel like. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that on the waterline and then do my eyelashes. First, I'm going to curl them and then apply the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara just to apply one coat of this. And I'm going to use these eyelashes by Vegas Nay and Eyler. These are pretty dramatic eyelashes and I'm going to go ahead and put those on with some black lash glue. I'm just gonna apply this eyeliner on my tight line so that way it can blend in and so that way it doesn't look blank underneath my eyelashes. And then I was gonna fix my hair all cute and <laughs> I forgot I had concealer on the back of my hand. I've done this many times by the way. And I'm trying to just take it off with the makeup remover wipe. Kind of worked. Kind of. And I'm going to use the Wake and Bake oil for moisturizing my face and I'm going to go ahead and apply that everywhere. And I don't know what I'm doing right here, but a little massage. And then I'm going to use the Porefessional to fill in my pores. So the oil pretty much moisturized my skin. And this one is filling in the pores and also priming for my foundation. For foundation today, I'm going to use the Too Faced Peach Perfect. This one is in the color Nude. It is pretty much my perfect match. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that everywhere. This is a pretty full coverage foundation and it lasts forever. This is one of my favorite foundations. By the way, I'm still sick, but I am feeling a lot better today. <laughs> I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape to highlight my face, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that on my under eye area on my forehead, the bridge of my nose, my chin, and also my cupid's bow. I'm taking my time right here and being a little careful since I already do have the eyeshadow. Sometimes it can be a little tricky, but it's really not that hard to, to be pretty precise with it. Once you apply the powder, it like blends into the eyeshadow really nicely and you can, it just looks really nice and clean. So I don't mind doing that, doing my concealer after my eyeshadow. But you can see that I am being pretty careful, especially on the inner corner of the eye. And then to set everything, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. And I'm going to bake a little bit. I'm going to apply quite a bit underneath my eyes. And I'm also going to set the rest of my foundation with this powder. And I had to sneeze <laughs> and I didn't want to because my eyes were going to get watery. And I'm going to go ahead and just set my powder using, set my foundation using the same powder. To contour my face, I'm going to use the Lorac Pro Palette and the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. And I'm going to use the lightest shade in there. By the way, I have gotten questions on what brush this is. This is the 966 Duo Fiber Face Shading Brush by Delium Tools. They have different color brushes, so you might not see it in yellow, but you might see it in purple or green or something like that. It's a really nice brush to contour with. And 
then I'm removing the under eye powder that I had there and then I'm going to bronze my face today I'm gonna use the Too Faced Tutti Frutti bronzer and I'm gonna use the darker side in here because the other one is more of a highlight for me and I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face And for blush, I don't want anything too pink. I'm going to use this one from the Naked Cherry palette and apply that on my cheeks. Because that's where blush goes, you know. <laughs> I, I do want something really, really glowy. I'm going to use the Juvia's Place highlighter. This one's in the color Volume 3. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I really recommend this one. You can get it at Ulta or on the Juvia's Place website. And that's where I got mine from. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight everywhere, my cheeks, my forehead, my nose, my cupid's bow, everything. And then for lipstick, I'm going to use a Dose of Colors lipstick. And this one's called Aesthetic. I'm going to go ahead and apply that one. This one's more of a velvet finish. It's not a matte finish, but it matched really, really good with today's eye look. And then I forgot to do my lower lashes, so I am going to go ahead and apply a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes. Because I said I forgot. <laughs> and this is the complete look, you guys. I hope you liked it. I really like the way that it turned out. It's a neutral color, a neutral eyeshadow look, but still very beautiful. Very, you know, a little bit glam with the glitter eyeliner and everything. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.